Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And we're just taking another look at our LST XXL2E from Losi, our A scale monster truck here in the workshop. And right after we finished converting these over to 17 millimeter hexes uh, on the wheels here uh, from the stock 22, just to give us greater flexibility in, in mounting uh, wheels and, and wheel and tire choices. Um, you know, it seems counterintuitive that we would have gone from a, a larger 20 to a smaller 17, but uh, very few people make wheels that are 20 millimeters in size. Uh, pretty much um, you'll have to go with low C replacements and um, we wanted to go with, um, we wanted to go with some others. So uh, we have uh, Proline mashers on 3.8 inch tires uh, that we wanted to mount on here, and as as soon as I mounted them on, I was I was spinning this, and spinning the axle. And if you could see there, see that worn silver spot on the axle, and see how it's kind of wobbling as I turn it around, right? It's silver because it was wearing against the shock here, and it's it should be straight. It should not be wobbling back and forth like that uh, and so we're gonna go ahead and have to replace that um, really wish I had noticed that earlier when I had the whole front disassembled um, replacing that that bulkhead uh, that was um, kind of a time-consuming task here but fortunately since it's on the front versus the rear I can actually I think I can take off the um, uh, the knuckle, the bolts that uh, go through uh, the C-hubs here and onto the steering knuckle. So that should give us a quicker way of accessing it. So I'm just going to go ahead and try this out. And um, I should have probably realized, uh, you know, definitely you want to inspect everything when you have it apart. But um, another telltale clue that something may have been wrong is the fact that the previous owner, you know, gave me a whole bunch of extra parts when I bought it, and it included one of these, which I thought was strange. I actually thought it was for the the um, the, the drive shafts that go from the front uh, or the back here from the transmission to. Um, you know the front or rear diff, but it was actually too short for that. It was actually one of these so I'm Pretty sure he had realized that he had broke it and Hadn't fixed it. So we undid that top one. We'll go ahead and undo the bottom Just place it like this here And we'll undo that bottom screw. And hopefully that'll give us access. To the drive shaft here. Shift stand. And so we ended up having to remove both the top and bottom screws there that go through the knuckle, and then also the linkage that goes to the steering, um, the steering rack there. And once that popped out, the CVD right or the drive shaft, the constant velocity drive shaft actually popped out. And then Lucy went a little bit funny. They actually went metric on the set screw that goes in here. Once you get that out, um, we had to kind of wiggle this bearing, you know, jam a screwdriver in between here to to get it to separate so that we can get access to the pin. Um, and now we can go ahead and pop that pin out. Use a smaller driver. Just fell on the floor and now the whole 
assembly comes out. There's the interior portion of the CVD. And then we can go ahead and grab our new one. And install it. So this is Lowe's B3521, in case you guys are interested. This is uh, specific to the LST, the XXL, and the XXL2. And let's go ahead and put this back in here. You should just wipe it down a little bit. And a paper towel, just clean up this a little bit. Dirt and grit and whatnot on there. So we'll put that pin back in. And oh, so the pin that I had dropped on the floor. Just wipe that one off as well. Assembling this CVD and these it's nice that they come with these CVD stock definitely a step up compared to um, You know the plastic drive shafts found on some other trucks um, Like the the T-Max the E-Max E-Revo Revo, etc So it is nice Having these, oops. Heavier duty drive shafts come stock. And let me just line all these up here. So they're a bit too tough to do well on the camera. I might have just. To all right, so let's see if we can get this here. Get the pin in. Sorry if you guys can't see that too well on the camera, but get the pin in through. Get it to pop out the other side. And, and then we can go ahead and slide this bearing back on. I might just try to clean this up a little bit, but essentially put that, that set screw back in and then we can pop the drive shaft back in, put in the screws and we'll be on our way again, uh, and we'll be uh, good to mount our tires. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if these videos are useful, and we'll catch you next time.